Initial testnet actually began two days ago, and this testnet is going to last for just 21 days, which is three weeks. Two days have gone, we have nine days left. I'm going to be giving you a guide on how you can actually navigate and participate in this testnet. All right, this is the testnet page. And here, this is where you can actually run every testnet activities. But before you, we proceed, before we start, we need to get faucet force. And this faucet token is what we are going to be using to interact with the test on the testnet page for testnet activities. Now, to start with, we need to get faucet. Every link and every information are going to be dropped on the description below this video. Here, this is the faucet page. What you just need to do is just to click on the link and then it takes you there. Then you connect your wallet, Metamax wallet. Then you sign in and it will reflect your wallet. After you've done that, you just need to make sure that you do this human verification, which is this uh, capture. Just tap on it to verify. Once it is success successful, then you can actually submit. If I submit now, I've already claimed my faucet. And the claiming of faucet is every eight hours, you get five tokens. Means you, means you can claim up to three times in a day. After you've claimed the faucet, then we can go to the testnet page and we can use the faucet to navigate through the page. All right, let's go right away. Now, this is the testnet page. What do you do on the testnet page? You just need to first connect your wallet. After you've connected your wallet, you run testnet activities and having having run the activities then you earn inertia point this is my point and this point is always updated every 24 hours once it's over 24 hours you can check you receive you will see your point there you don't need to be panicked in case you are not getting it instantly now what do you need to be doing on this testnet there are two things that are very essential that you need to do as activities now the first one is to farm your farm by staking and the second one is true lending and borrowing. You lend and you borrow. And by part participating or running these activities, you, you will be able to get inertia point. All right, let me show you how you can do that. Now, just come straight down to these three, line, three lines at the right-hand corner. Then you are going to see the two activities that I mentioned, the lending and this inrt.fi, which is the farming part. Now, let's first do the farming part. Click on this inrt.fi, click there. After you've clicked there, you're going to see all these assets. All these assets, because I had already staked, that's why you are seeing some. Your own might not be showing, your own might just be showing like three, which is this first one, this first one, and second one, and this third one. And having seen that, what you need to do, you just need to mint and farm. That's the first thing we want to do. We want to mint and we want to farm farm before we go to lending and borrowing. Now, you will see here we have this N you have this N I N I T. N I N I T, which is this blue one. And we have this S I N I T. You can see they are different in terms of the color and this. Both of them are they have their use usefulness. Even though we are going to mint them. But the usefulness is that the, this blue can only be used for farming. Why this uh, purple, uh, sorry, why this uh, pink can only be used for lending and borrowing. Now, let us do our minting so that we can farm. Now click on mint to mint this blue. Then once you've clicked on that, because this is your initial INIT, which is the four set I got. Then I need to impute that to mint to mint this blue one, which is N I N I T. Let me just put the amount I want to mint. Let me put like fifty because I have the false set. Submit. Approve it. Confirm it. Then you wait for it to be successful. After you've minted, after you've minted they will deduct from your faucet which is INIT then if you click on this uh, on stake you are going to see the balance of your NINT now after you've done that we can 
instead of going back to mint the ink one then you can just click there and then it will show you can click on s i n i t let's mint that one as well let me mint that then i can submit approve it confirm it once you are done minting the two then you can now come here click on this same place click there you are going to see n i n t n i n i t and this one i n r t click there which is the place where you farm which is the farming part then you will now do what you can see what the one i minted with this is what i have in my balance and i told you that you can only mint this blue one which is n i n i t that's the only one you can mint and what do you do here we want to farm how do you farm you farm by staking this blue one you farm by staking this n i n i t when you stake it then you are farming already and what do you farm you farm this i n r t i is going to be the reward it's going to be the reward for staking this n i n i t then let me just take all right i've imputed the amount and i can also do well to supercharge the supercharging is just like you boosting that means i need like i n r t to supercharge to boost but if i don't have it i can decide to do a kind of swap to swap my faucet if i click on this daily line you will see swap there i can swap my faucet to inrt if i don't want to wait till this my nint that i want to stick to generate inrt for me because when you stake this when you stake this n i n i t is going to generate i n r t which is the reward of your staking and you can also use i n r t to supercharge to boost your staking but if you cannot wait until you get reward for this your n i n t staking you can you can just do what to click on the three lines at the left hand side and swap swap certain portion of your faucet to get this inrt in order to use it to supercharge but mind you whatever you swap directly will not count for your point it is what you earn directly from your staking of ninit that will give you that gives you ninrt that will count for point do you get it now let me just stick let me just take let me stick to explain what i'm saying let me first take 50 let me stick this i don't since i don't have anything in my balance to supercharge i can just do it directly just stick on this i've read the terms and agreement submit approve it confirm it now for me to supercharge I can just come here. Let me do the swapping that I told you about. So click on swap. Now I can pick here INT, pick here INRT. I can change it. I can just swap some portion of my faucet token. Then I can click on swap. approve it confirm it then i have actually swapped from my initial to initial faucet to inrt now i can go back just backward it now this is how to do it now i want to stick again let me put 50 and then here i can now supercharge you can see i now have inrt i can put since the available maximum cap is this i can just put 15 or any amount i have available i have then i can click to agree you can see what i'm trying to say to supercharge but this one will not count the swapping will not actually count for my point 
But it is what I end by sticking in INT that can't. Then I can submit. Then I prove it. Confirm. Then having done that, you can see here that my farming NINT is 190 and my supercharge. All this will help me to earn more of INRT. And this INRT is the reward of the staking. And that's actually what boost what will boost my point, what will allow me to earn more of initial point. Initial point. Now this is about the farming. Now let's go to the lending and borrowing. We are done with farming. This is how you do farming. You stake. Farming is just by you staking. After you've minted your NINT, you can mint. You can mint directly. You can mint NINT and stake it directly without supercharge. But you can also supercharge if you also have enough faucet to get INRT. You get supercharge simply means like you boosting. Now, because some of you don't have enough faucet, that's why I'm seeing this. You can do it directly without supercharge. Also, let's go to borrowing. We have done farming. Let's go to lending and borrowing. Click on this three line, and you are going to see lending. Click on lending. Then this is the page for lending. And these are the assets you can lend, which will serve as collateral. Now, we have INIT. We have SINIT. You know, I told you that you can only use SINIT for lending and some other other um, coin, some other token, which is USDC if you have them, and they also INIT, you can use them. But on this lending page, lending and borrowing page, you need to also convert, transfer your uh, faucet or whatever you have from L1 to L2, from L1 to L2. Now, if I want to use this ISINIT, I can click on detail, Click on detail and my info. For my info, then when you learn, it means you supply. You get it. I want to supply this SINIT, but I cannot supply directly unless I transfer from L1 to L2. This is it. My balance is still in L1. I need to move it to L2. Just click on transfer. Then you just pick from network. That's initial, and you pick this one, SINT. And to inertia, you pick the same, you pick SINIT. Can you see how I did it? You pick the from inertia, then you pick SINIT that I want to use to do lending and borrow. Then to inertia, and you pick the same SINIT. Then I can now move all my fund 70, all my fund here, then move it to preview route, confirm it, so that I can bridge it from L1 to L2, approve it, then confirm it. It's just wait for it to be confirmed, confirm, completed, go to home, then you can go back. You can go back. Now, we have it. You can see now, it has actually been moved from L1. I now have my balance here. A 72 which I can use to do lending and borrowing. Now I can lend. Let me just lend, let's say 50. And I can come here, submit it. And here yeah, you can see my supply, you can see my APY reward and add factor. Make sure that you do more of lending than borrowing so that it will not affect your add factor. Once your add factor is less than one point then it's going to lead to liquidation. Now, submit, approve it, confirm it. Then click on my info. And there, I've learned out of 70, I have 22 left. Then I've actually learned by, by, by supply. Now, I can now do what I can if I want to borrow. You can see it has actually improved my Add factor by lending. That's why I say you should do more of lending than borrowing. Click on borrow. Then to do borrow, I have this is what I can borrow if I want to borrow 44. But let me just do, let me borrow like 30. If I borrow, it's going to reduce my head factor. That's why make sure that your head factor do not reduce 
below one below one make sure it is always above one so that it will not liquidate submit approve then you confirm it then once it is successful you can see i've also borrowed then i can now supply make sure just make sure you supply more that's how to do lending and borrowing now also if i don't want to borrow this uh, si90 i can go to lending just click here lending now you can see my collateral you can see just make sure you improve your collateral and everything by doing all these things instead of sinit i can also use init to do my this thing as so if i don't want to use that just click on detail and my info then you can transfer from l1 to l2 then you can do your lending borrowing and everything that's what you just need to do after you've done your farming and borrowing on this after 24 hours then if you come here your point you will get point your point you get and also the secret behind this thing is that the more you do all these activities and the more you run all these things the more faucet you have also helps to fast track your earning and your point i think with this video i've actually explained in detail about this inertia testnet and the activities claim your faucet and run your testnet activities if you have any further question do well to drop it in the comment section or join my telegram community to reach out to me. Bye for now.